Intro catchphrase. So every few months I remember something from my childhood, um, something very relevant to today, culturally, and honestly with a reset in the minds of everybody. And that is the 2006 episode of Doctor Who, Love and Monsters. Uh, so a brief synopsis of this episode. Elton Pope is an ordinary man intrigued by the world of the Doctor. When he and fellow enthusiasts, Linda, or London Investigation mm, Detective Agency, this was 2006 writing, okay, what do, you, what do you want? Meet the mysterious Victor Kennedy, played by Peter Kay. Their lives will never be the same again. Look at this. This beauty. So in this episode, they decided to do away with the Doctor for the first 90% of the episode and focus on Elton, played by Mark Warren and his little adventure into trying to find the Doctor. During this, he teamed up with Peter Kay as Sexy Absorber Loff. Absorb a laugh here! Who really wants to find the Doctor and uh, absorb him, I assume. It was 15 years ago, what do you want from me? <laughs> but the main questions that a lot of people have regarding this episode is in the epilogue. Because you see, at the end, the Doctor comes in, he flies, and he defeats the Absorb a laugh. Beautiful, very good. Monster of the Week, dealt with. Vamos! Ta da! But in the last three minutes of the episode, this happens. Because the doctor said he could do one last thing with his magic wand. If I can key into the absorption matrix and separate the last victim, it's too late for total reconstruction, but... Elton! Fetch a spade! Now, not only is tearing out uh, a random slab in the middle of an alleyway really gonna knock off the guy from the council in a few episodes' time, but what follows is the most horrific thing that I think Doctor Who has ever done, and it's played off lightheartedly. Uh, here she is. Could be worse. At least I'll never age. Ah! He decides to bring back Ursula, Elton's love interest, as a paving slab. And that's not even the worst bit yet. It's a relationship of sorts. Well, we manage. We've even got a bit of a love life. He's fucking that slap. He's doing things to that slap. Not okay things. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who wrote that? Who wrote that line and went, yep, 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 yep. Mm, good stuff, good stuff. I've got some questions about Ursula as a slab. You see, I went to school. Okay, I learned biology. I learned that for things to be living, they need to have seven characteristics. Mrs. Nerg. So the M, movement. It's got to be able to move in some way. Here you can see, moving. Okay, ding, ding, ding. One out of seven. Beautiful, correct. Respiration. She can talk, she can breathe. It makes sense. Not sure how the respiratory systems in the whole body are doing that, but, you know, okay, she's breathing. S, sensitivity. They've got to be able to sense changes in their surroundings. Ursula is still wearing glasses, therefore she can see. She's sensitive to changes in her surroundings. N, nutrition. Does she eat? She's... She's something, I tell you that much. I tell you she's something. <laughs> she's, she's something. <laughs> With the, with the face intact, I assume she has the ability to eat. Um, not not sure that she needs to. Uh, I don't know what the muscle mass required to stay awake as a slab of concrete is. But she can probably eat. She's got chompers in there. Excretion! So all living things have to be able to get rid of waste products. I guess she can spit? Maybe? <laughs> You'd have to ask Elton. <laughs> yeah, my pop filter's a sock quad. Uh, just going online and searching, uh, um, apparently excretion, uh, excess gas counts. Excess gas and water. So I guess that would be the breathing. So, okay, she excretes. Reproduction. No real way to reproduce. Could you get the DNA? I'm not a biologist, okay? I don't know if you can in vitro fertile a concrete slab. <laughs> and growth. Now, growth is the best one to touch on because she says this line. At least I'll never age. She never ages. So there's no growth? 
But with my rudimentary knowledge of biology, skin cells exist, and they're constantly like dying and remaking themselves over and over again, so... Unless they just remake themselves until she's just made of concrete? And I don't care what anyone thinks. I really feel like you should care what people think. In this one scenario, you know? You know what? Just once, maybe care what people think. So, very happily, when I was searching up doing research for this video, I found this on YouTube, you know, the clip that I needed, and people are debating this in the comments as well. Of course, every comment is underneath, is he getting sucked off by a slab? He is. Notice how you never see her face on his camera. I think he's gone insane, it's just a regular slab. That's less scary. When the idea of a mind-broken man fucking an inanimate paving stone is the lesser of two horrors, something's wrong with this ending. <laughs> what was the point of this? I don't know, okay? I just... I just want to be rid of this curse of thinking about this every couple of months and just popping into my head. Because this was my favourite episode as a kid. This, this episode was written and was a lot of people's favourites. There's a lot of people's not favourites as well. But it was, you know, a nice, easy episode to enjoy. And then he puts his dick in a concrete slab. I think uh, Elton sums it up best here at the end of the episode. The truth is, the world is so much stranger than that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So much stranger. Anyway, that was weird. I'm Luke Hatch on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and... Don't stick your phallus in concrete. It's good life advice. Only stick your phallus in... Yeah!